There she is, boys and girls. Hey, welcome back, guys. So it's official. I have my F-250 uh, just delivered today. Actually do some of the first modifications. So it's an XLT, uh, pretty clean truck, uh, Power Stroke Diesel. It's a 2018. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, guys. I bought this It's from a company. If you're up in the Northeast, if you're up in the Northeast, I'll put a link in the description for you. Uh, Southern Diesel is the name of the, the company. So this truck is actually from Texas. I believe, uh, kind of looking at their stock and everything, um, what they do is they buy um, leased vehicles that come in off lease, and then they basically can do anything you want as far as the truck goes uh, and uh, and sell it to you. So I've been looking at a couple. Uh, obviously, I like that it's from Texas because if you look at the underside here, I mean, this is a two-year-old truck you know there's no no rust whatsoever which was kind of my one of my big pet peeves where if i was going to spend the money on a truck used and have it be a diesel um to spend all that money and get something you know that was already two years of rust in the northeast which you know two years it wouldn't really show much rust but the frame underneath would would already start it to uh to kind of rust up a little bit so this is from texas southern diesel so like i said the rims tires um they kind of put on stock um you can get them taken off if you want to save some money if you don't like them uh they can switch it around show you a couple different things but then as part of kind of their standard package they paint front bumper the grill same with the rear bumper, uh, which is pretty standard for their builds. They also put on these uh, rain guards. I'm not sure if the original owner, there's tint as well, if that was part of the original owner. But you can see rear bumper uh, paint it, which these were all kind of things that I was looking at. And when looking, you know, this is actually my first Ford that I've ever owned. Uh, everything else has been chevy prior to this um i'm sorry i had one one dodge as well a charger um for a little while um but this thing yeah let me uh spin this around so you know they even gave me a koozie some business cards southern diesel i think it's southerndiesel.com is their website and again no affiliation no um no kickback or anything from them but so basically you can order it they have trucks on there um, they have some 19s, 18s. I think occasionally um, they'll get like a 17. They have a kind of a mix of some other um, models and vehicles, but they specialize in, in diesel trucks. And so they get them, they kind of clean them up, but you can basically build it to order um, from them. So they, um, they can do leather seats. If I spin this around real quick, this is the Linkswell touchscreen that I had them add. So, I mean, there were some kind of wants and needs that I kind of, which I talked about in some of my other videos. Um, one, I, you know, I wanted Apple CarPlay and I wanted something fairly big where it originally came with just, I think the five or six inch touchscreen or not even touchscreen little radio, um, which really kind of sucks. Um, especially spending the amount of money that these things cost. Um, so I had them throw that in. The, the second thing, which I can show probably next week, a quick video. The interior is currently cloth. Uh, I actually took delivery of this and then brought it over to a place near me in Albany that um, they're gonna reskin it uh, with cat skin um, leather uh, seat skin. So. It will be full leather, which was another heated leather seats, um, which was another big thing that I wanted. 
it's just to me leather um, it lasts longer if you take care of it uh, it doesn't you know it's easy to clean up you spill something on it I mean the only thing you, you really have to worry about is, is tearing it because it, there's no real easy you, you know fix for that where if you tear your seat you can kind of maybe sew it back up or and patch it fairly easy where leather you're you know you're kind of done at that point you kind of have to replace the whole seat cover at that point unless it's very very small and you might be able to kind of patch it with some uh, some wax some of those wax patch kits but yeah so I'm getting that um, next week it's ordered they'll be in probably sometime next week I have to drop this off for the day and they'll they'll reskin it but you know for me too the you know the smell everything you your cloth seats just soak all that up and it's just something I've, I've said a while ago um, you know my BMW's leather the Camaro's leather my old truck was leather I, I said I honestly would never buy a cloth vehicle again but looking at these trucks so this is a Ford F-250 Power Stroke uh, to get leather you have to get the Lariat package which I understand why they don't really sell them is because uh, again the Lariat package really isn't least that often it's more it's kind of like Chevy my father just got a new Chevy and it's the custom um, I think version it's kind of a you know it's kind of like an LT base model with some upgrades but they usually don't have leather either because the leather um, when I priced out mine is usually some of the higher tier packages which you know add six seven eight thousand dollars to the cost of the vehicle so you know looking around if I wanted to get leather this similar truck would have cost me probably another five or six thousand where um, to just have it at it uh, it's like fifteen hundred bucks and I can pick out the colors the stitching I you know whatever you want you can pick it out and that's installed um, so that's that's a good thing but yeah I have a uh, bunch of uh, upgrades and things so I mean this is gonna be for the firewood business uh, aspect but I just this thing sits I actually you know very surprised how tall it is for being stock um, they put a three inch leveling kit in the front just to raise the front end up so it looks uh, you know when you're looking at it straight that it looks straight and flat and level um, but my old truck had a six inch lift and I think this is probably the same height if not higher already st stock so and my big thing was towing I just didn't want all that aftermarket crap on it and figured it would probably wear out and cause me issues especially if I'm towing say 10,000 pounds which this thing should do with ease um, but the power I mean it's it's crazy with this thing stock it's I think 450 uh, almost 900 pounds of torque which is just night and day compared to my old Chevy um, which I get it was you know gas between a diesel if I had a Duramax it would be very similar as well uh, but yeah so that it's kind of the big announcement guys I got this and again if you're following along kind of for the firewood business a side of things you know this is kind of just playing out um, and in the year um, I jumped on this I don't really need to use it or, or need it uh, probably till springtime but I probably you know may have been able to wait a couple months but then again it's it's one of those things if you're shopping for vehicles when you see something like these guys they say they get six or seven of these in every every week or two but uh, you know they say that until come March when I'm looking to buy like Corona something you know they're not getting them and all of a sudden it's like alright well I can't buy a truck or I can't find the one that I wanted so I just I pulled the trigger on it um, was a good deal I'm very happy with it and, and Matt from Southern Diesel again shout out to him and you know if you live in the Northeast and you know you're looking for a clean diesel truck I would definitely check them out and for me guys they delivered this to my house for free I mean they're out of Oswego which is probably a three-hour drive so it saved me six hours of driving just to get you know and they just dropped it off at my front front door today so as you saw in the, the trailer video so I'm not sure you know if you live somewhere else Mass New Hampshire um, I'm sure they would do delivery it may not be included but for me it was nothing extra like I said, they added that Lynx wall system, but they can do, they asked, said, oh, you know, is there anything else you need? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Well, you know, I'm thinking like normal dealer, like, oh, we'll give you a, a tunnel cover or this or that. And it's like, well, I can just buy that myself, which 
I actually just it, it got delivered a little while ago but I can add that stuff myself but he's like oh no we can tune it we can you know do exhaust we, we could do the leather seats but the for them they would have either had to hold it for the three weeks that it takes to order um, the skins to get them in and then do the install or I'd have to drive it back out there and I just said ah you know I know somebody locally already um, that I trust so I'm just gonna go through them but you know they can they can customize it they do love uh, lift kits all kinds of crazy stuff the guy that dropped it off he said they were he after he dropped it off they were actually picking up a F I think 450 um, and he said it's it's about a two hundred thousand dollar truck um, it's got some crazy I think a 12 inch any 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 uh, lift kit on it or something and it's a dually I can imagine it's, it's a beast of a truck but um, so they can do anything so if you're looking for a truck reach out to them but I'm I'm happy you know it's it's New Year's Eve and you know I'm, I'm happy this thing showed up um, when it did and over the next week or two, I'll kind of customize it to my liking and, and add a few few different things, just kind of more convenient factor. Like I said, the tunnel cover, um, I definitely need some side steps. I didn't think I was going to need them, but it is it is pretty tall, um, just stock, like I said, so. But yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, the truck itself, they sent me, so they sent me a full walk around video. Uh, it was about six minutes long going around the truck, going through everything kind of show you if there was any any issues and um, point those things out ahead of time I actually you know didn't drive out there and look at it I bought it basically online and compared to dealing with other dealerships I mean this was great I you know wasn't hassled around they they weren't you know every the the reason why I went with this truck over um, buying a new Duramax one price and I really didn't want to spend that much but two if a Chevy dealership up here would have just taken my order for the new truck I probably would would have had it ordered already but every dealership they made me come in waste my time and wanted to sell me something on the lot which they don't have any of these you know uh, 2500 you know the higher packages in stock they're all just straight like work trucks if if they even have a diesel to begin with so it's like you have me come down you waste my time even though I built one online and you have the full build instead of just going okay this is what we can do we need a deposit nope they don't even want to talk about that because they don't make a dime off of it the salespeople don't um, because you're not going to take delivery for two or three months so they don't even want to be bothered so I mean their loss you know now I have a Ford we'll see how this goes you know I could be kicking myself in the butt but I honestly won't be putting a ton of miles on this thing I mean for a diesel so it has 65,000 miles on it. Um, I mean, honestly, five years from now, I'll be lucky if this thing has over 100,000. Um, if I, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like 80, unless I start really towing around. But even, you know, if I do say 20, 25 cords of wood next year, if I deliver within a 25 mile radius, I mean, that's only maybe 1,000, 2,000 miles. And then I don't drive it as a daily, uh, so it's whenever I take it if I need to pick something up or if I want to tow something else like the tractor or my side-by-side -side. so I really really won't be putting the miles on it so I was fairly confident buying this thing used that um, just resale value if I had to sell it or wanted to sell it even two years from now that I probably can get almost what I paid for it um, then so but yeah guys this uh, you know part of the firewood journey I mean this is gonna really take me to the the next level and then now uh, come spring I'll focus on a dump trailer which I've been I've been looking but trying to find a deal on them uh, not sure which one I want now that I have this it, it definitely opens up the doors for me a little bit more just because when I was initially looking at dump trailers with my 1500 I was worried about how heavy the trailer was and they're anywhere from like three twenty five, three thousand to almost four thousand pounds empty, which I mean that in itself is is a decent amount of weight. So then you load up a thirty five hundred pound tractor, you're at seven k nine, you know seven eight k already um, for weight. So I was getting concerned if I went with one of the larger trailers like a seven by twelve, seven by fourteen, something like that for a dump that especially if it had high sides. 
uh, weight wise that it was going to be a lot of weight just empty um, where this thing should have no issues towing something like that so I'm I'm, I'm very happy and uh, definitely as far as the truck goes I'll probably make a few videos kind of like I did with the side by side uh, in the future here with some of these mods that I'm um, adding in and doing honestly do I have it no the first mod uh, let's see uh, I must have left it inside it's actually uh, I have it hold on Jesus the first mod just because I'm all again this like I said this is my personal truck as well so it's not like I'm it's mainly gonna be used for work like 75 80 percent of it's gonna be work but I want something that looks nice that I enjoy driving when I have to drive it but the first mod is actually this um, billet antenna to replace the ugly uh, factory one so it's like a it's actually bigger it looks like a 50 cal but it's actually bigger I think um, so I'll put that on I have like I said the tunnel cover here now and I mean just to give you if you're interested to follow along with any of the other the mod videos I have headlights taillights um, some exhaust stuff and yeah the seats and I may uh, I may upgrade do some sound stuff too I my old truck was completely stock and I was fine with that and this one at least it sounds pretty decent so I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna uh, at least at the moment go out and you know change anything with it and then probably running boards um, the thing I I'm trying uh, I got to do some research on the running boards is the I like the the style I had before were kind of metal steps the problem was literally I would say within I bought the truck in February so uh, probably put them on in March which was winter and by like summertime they were already rusting and the paint was chipping off of them so when I sold it I repainted them which that was probably the third time I've repainted them since owning them so I'm just I don't know if I want to look at a different style something that's maybe more plastic um, so I don't have to worry about the paint chipping and peeling but I, I have to find something that at least is, pleases me aesthetically you know when you look at it I mean those those are pretty aggressive the ones that I had before and they look nice but um, yeah I don't know like I said for longevity of them they didn't really last that long for only being I think after I think after a year and a half or two years I repainted it the first time because it was already like missing huge chunks you know half dollar size chunks of paint that had started peeling off and it was rusting so I I repainted it with bed liner um, but yeah guys this is uh, this is the truck this is the big news um, thanks for tuning in I appreciate all your support guys the channel um, as of recent has really been growing I think closing out Christmas I was only a little over 30 followers and I, I mean probably at, at uh, probably at posting this video time I'm probably at like 55 followers so it's it's really starting to grow and I'm you know really happy to see support appreciate you guys coming along with me again you know southern diesel that's where I bought this thing no complaints so far um, with the truck and if I have any issues, I'm sure you guys will see it. But if you haven't already, join the team. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on future content, new content when it comes out. Hope you guys have a happy new year. And I will see you again next time. Later.